DJ Easy Dick. <laughs> Boom. What's going on with the on on? When it's on on, it be on on, she be on on, he be on on. There it go, there it go. Where he, uh, 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 uh. Ah, still on. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I got my main man, Rob Benson in the building, San Diego represent. I got Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the building, Deontay Burton. What's going on, fellas? Thank you all for coming, man. Shake my goddamn hand, man. You always make me shake your hand. Like, <laughs> let me shake your hand on the, on the merits. <laughs> shake my goddamn hand, man. <laughs> no, what's going on with y'all in first place or something? Y'all in first place or second place? You know what place we're in because you know what place you're in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, hey, you're either first or you're last. <laughs> The last place team always do it. Hey, place, hey, the goddamn but, first place but team. But in is the it. Bible, it said last shall be first. <laughs> yeah, you'll have the first pick in next year's draft. It's pretty no, accurate. No, in I'll my be opinion. the first one to go home. Shit, oh, <laughs> turn up. Either way, it's a bright side and everything. Man. Depends on how you look at it. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Y'all popping right now, man. Like, what y'all think? Like, what y'all think is going on? You know what I'm saying, like. You know what I'm saying? Cause like this is like y'all wasn't like nobody expected this. I'm saying so. What what what's going on over there? Yeah, I can't speak on that. I, this is my first year, so you know it's you know you when know, I came, I was like, man, you know we more. finna lose. <laughs> you know we not we don't got no like at the time I didn't know Ho Young was coming back either. But either way, I was like, man, we got a bunch of guys who didn't play last year. And DeAndre's like, I don't know, man. I think we gonna be good. Like I'm like, man, that's everybody thinks they finna <laughs> to win. Everybody thinks then. And then we won a couple, and I can see him looking at me like, <laughs> now? I told you. I now? told you. We're good. I mean, a lot of the credit has to really go to Deontay, honestly. Like, it's, 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 a, it's a situation where look at the last two or three teams to win. They got the young point guard, super athletic, plays one year in the league, kills it and leaves. Joe Jackson, Kiefer Sykes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the he's the next, but he's bigger and stronger than those fools. But it's the it's the same thing. He, right, you know right, the right. the big man division has been like everyone knows what that's about. But the young, you know, the smaller guys is still being sussed out a bit. Yeah. And in terms of like guys who can play guard, who can shoot, who can you know create for their team as like a point guard situation, he's the next, literally the next big thing. Mm -hmm. And that's a big that's a big factor. It's a big factor. Yeah. KBL's Vince Carter <laughs> clowning. Did he dunk on you yet? Nope. Never <laughs> say never so, again. So it's, either, <laughs> it's either I'm not jumping or I'm going to foul the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> either or. I'm not getting the no. No. Just, I don't even get hyped no more. I just I, I just say a prayer. like. <laughs> just foul early enough. <laughs> That's all I say. Just he be getting early, there bro. quick, man. He be getting there quick. Yo, like, I mean, like I've seen you dunk on a lot of people. Yeah, like for real, for real. Yeah, I but gotta you, gather. You, you, but you gather for like this. Like, it's so different because you gather and you just. He, I, I kind of studied you. I was like, why does it look so much more ferocious when you dunk than other people? Because you like, you gather, then you like. He's you more just, power. You fly off the rim like you, <laughs> like you trying to get somewhere quick. <laughs> Look like you're gonna punch the backboard. Deontay oh, yeah. dunks on people before they realize they got dunked on. Like uh, I see yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah, look yeah, like, yeah, wait, yeah. oh shh. <laughs> like we played KCC oh, yeah, and he yeah. dunked on a uh, Ha and Charles Rose, and I swear neither of them knew it for like three <laughs> seconds. Like I was on the bench, I was like, like counting in my head like one, two, and that's when Charles looked up. Like oh, he was on the ground. Like how? Oh, <laughs> The, fun, the, 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 funny, <laughs> the funniest part, I didn't know I dunked until like after. Nobody. <laughs> I so, I dunked. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some dunks where like you would dunk where everyone's like, ah, oh, like he dunks where everyone's like, ah. Oh. No, no one gets, no one gets there. They're just like, I don't, it's too late. The play's already going the other way. I don't, I got to focus. If, let's video. see if two points went up. Oh, they, uh, oh, did. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, he yeah. made it. He Check made it. the replay. It. So uh, Milwaukee though, man. Yo, how the fuck? How the fuck is it like growing up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Honestly, it's it's like a smaller Chicago. It's mm. it's like a smaller Chicago. So it's it's a little bit of everything happening. Everything isn't good, but it teaches you. It so teaches you what? 
life lessons, man. Like you learn, you grow up faster than than what you expect. Being in Milwaukee, like you see a lot of different things, and it's 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 real. You grew up mom, mom and pops. Two yeah, parents, two parents. Yeah, yeah. Moms and pop, moms and pops. When I was very young, they separated, and yeah. Uh, uh, when you first, when did you first start hooping? When did I first start hooping? It was what sixth grade. Sixth grade, I was a little chunky little little kid then. T Grizzly <laughs> picked up a basketball. Don't you look like T Grizzly? Yeah. He talked like him too. <laughs> <laughs> Told them crackers how to laugh me when they sober. <laughs> have him say it. it sounds just like him. Too. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> sixth grade, I was I was a little chunky little kid. Um, I was I was really chunky. Then I I I started playing basketball you know, just seen because. The movie, the heavyweights. No, I haven't. I haven't. Check that out. He's you gotta remember he like he's extra young. When you was what year you was one? Ninety four. Okay, y'all. I said I'm extra young. I'm twenty four years. Yeah, 20, yeah, I'm yeah. Twenty three. First of all, that's what young people do. They add years to like. Yeah, I'm like I'm like basically twenty seven at this point. Okay, well, uh, I'm yeah. twenty nine. If you're young enough, to, that's, he's enough distance to not know the heavyweights. Not because he never heard it, but because he's he was like three when it came out, or like one or whatever. Like I probably you were like a healthy like seven year old, and you're like heavyweights, like yeah. And, he, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah, just yeah. like out the womb, like he never had a reason to hear about it. I probably saw it and was too young to remember. That's a good route. So, yeah. So, so hmm. he was. So so in middle school you were so how was high school and shit like mm. high school uh oh, dang high man, school you're I went to... like that now man I bet yo young yo, yo high school like clown yeah high school you can win meal at five o'clock in the morning and just waking up he can still do that now <laughs> he doesn't warm up watch him take a game where you just don't care like last game of the season just watch watch his warm up routine we all stretch and he just be on the sideline just like chilling he'll go take a long ass shit. He'll come back with like three minutes before the game, <laughs> sub in and be like, "Bow!" I'm like, "This is amazing. This is goddamn amazing." That's why I said I don't even say no. I just pray every time. Like I don't know what I don't know when the world's gonna end, but he's trying every time. I just hate stretching, man. I I, I genuinely hate stretching. Like stretching does nothing for me, but makes me hurt. Like that stretching hurts. Like that's all stretching does. Yeah, shit. Stretching. Yeah, that's the thing. He doesn't even realize he's 23. Like, because I remember when I was in college, we had a guy, Brian Weathers, stretch. who was, who was like, at the time, he must have been like 22. But he seemed like he was 45 to the rest of us. <laughs> like, oh, Brian, oh, he takes Advil before practice. He needs to stretch his shit. Like, he hella old. Like, that's the mentality you have until one day you're like, oh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, no, I mean, I'm just like, I just I'm need a little dude. more time, bro. I need a little more time. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, honestly, some days I some days I don't feel like jumping. Those are days I actually stretch. I I take a longer time to stretch. Those are the days. <laughs> yeah, so so ride, man. It's not often though. So how many how many years you played in the KBO now? Thirty. <laughs> Yo, this is funny as hell. Man, if I can get a goddamn pension for that, I'll take it, dog. Like, yeah. can I get unemployment when yeah, I stop playing in this bitch? Like, like it's fucking crazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying, like, yo, so how many, how many years you playing like KBO? Well, like eight, but really like seven and like a quarter for the year I got fired. But so he played my entire high school and college career. <laughs> <laughs> yo, well, yo, 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 yeah. And my perspective, when I hear that, that's that's a that's damn near that's damn near three million, at least in earnings. <laughs> nah, you overhyping, man. I'm not. I'm not Aaron. No, eight, <laughs> <laughs> no, eight years. Yo, eight year, eight years in the KBL. That's that's at least three million. I, I I can say this. I don't know what I earned, but I know what I spent. It's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't want to say. I'm, this not, is, I'm not. I'm not pocket watching, but this is my first year, and I can honestly say you're a millionaire. No, I got. I got. I have assets. Please send nudes. I have assets. <laughs> <laughs> I have. You know, what I mean, like you grow into it. You grow into you know different things. Yeah. You gotta understand. I during those years, I was drinking a lot. I mean, it was just <laughs> oh my god, Jesus! Liquor is not expensive. not like not like during season like that. Like, but like in the off season, as soon as you get home, 
Nothing Ooh. was like getting home. You it know ain't, it's like it ain't hoop home. season, so I just need a reason. <laughs> just get home. <laughs> it ain't hoop season. And I so felt like I every day I woke up, it was like Smokey was in my ear, like it's Friday, but it'd be like Monday. You ain't got no job. <laughs> you ain't got shit to do. You ain't got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck else I'm gonna do? Just find ways to spend money. Like not honestly, not too irresponsibly, you, but irresponsibly no, enough. You ever? You ever? Uh, you ever? You ever yeah, it ever got to like uh, end of July, like oh fuck, I need to get a hoop check. <laughs> not like, not like, not like on paper, but like mentally, you do like you start being like, man, I'm, I'm tired of spending on shit. Like I started hating people in the summer. Like this mother, like you ever see the show Atlanta? I don't know if you ever seen it. There's one episode where they're at the club, and he's like, he's just. He starts clowning and buying bottles, and at a certain point, he like realizes there's hella like fools he doesn't know at his table, and he's like, "Everybody get the fuck out!" Like that's <laughs> that's how I start feeling in the summer. Like, who are all these people at my house right now? Like, go home. I don't know you. Get 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 the fuck out. Get the fuck, I need to go. I need to leave. Yeah. It's time to earn some dollars on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's yeah. like my fourth time hearing him bring up Atlanta. It's a good ass show. <laughs> it's a good ass show. <laughs> he tries to it just won Atlanta the Golden so Globe. <laughs> it's a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. So but said, it's relevant I think I to seen everything like, I think that I, we say all the I time. I think I've seen like two episodes. No bullshit. It's it's I don't obviously I have no paycheck from Atlanta, but I'll say that like every topic they discuss I think is like relevant topics to like every black man, like because they, they it's not just like one black experience is like all the black experiences in one show. So, in my opinion, it's just a great show for like relating to other people when we all know like what that's like. That's my yeah, point. Yeah, but I'm still mad at you for telling me Sense Eight is canceled. Sense Eight is canceled. Like that that hurt done. my heart. Like I'm just saying. No, no, uh, what was that one show? Uh, How to Make It in America. Oh my God. It, he ain't seen that either. It it's fucking crazy. It hurt my. Hurt my doesn't it? Hey, when no, it got it to the, you got to end of season two, you're like, yo, yo, what's happening with these fools? Yo, I still think about it today. Where yo, they go? Like it hurts, it hurts you. It kind of like hurts because you, you start getting attached to people yeah, like, that you be, like and, and shit. And then they stop it and like, where's the, like the climax of what what's finna happen? Yeah. It's like, what, man? I'm finna pay for this. Man, <laughs> we if, need to get production back going. If I wasn't a Christian, <laughs> man, that's hey. When I knew I <laughs> really, really, really fucks with you is when you like when you watched How to Make an America. We started talking about it. I was like, Wendell's Wendell's all right, man. Before that, I hated you. <laughs> oh, don't count, count, bro. Hey, I'm fucking no, with you. No, 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 no. We just we talked about this all about the game. Like before that, I hated you. Yo, no, so I'm, no, I'm so, here. So, I'm here. Tay no, no, here. No, no, Tay so, here. So I wake up every day, go to practice. Hey, what's up, Rod? Like, man. So you've been in your mind, like, yo, this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. But then you watch, jump but off then the you window watch right now. How to Make It in America. And you, you know, it was all good. Yo, fuck your life. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so, yo, I know, um, let's talk about, let's talk about San Diego a little bit, man. Like, and, and how that, uh, I know, I know. You know what I'm saying. We talked about it in the last podcast, or whatever. That didn't work out, but like, like, but I want to talk about like how it, how how it helped mold you into the person that you are today. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess we did talk about this. It's, it's like always weird for me to go back and think about it, but you know, San Diego is where I grew up. Is is not like there's a lot of black people in San Diego. A lot of people don't know that, but I grew up probably like 20 minutes away from there. Specifically, just because my mom wanted me to go to a school that was like better, like you know, you can get a good public school in San Diego without having to like, you just have to move. Uh, but it just made like, especially we all hoopers, like the basketball shit was like, for me, the worst. Because yeah. like you know, I, as a as a sophomore, I was like six seven, six eight, skinny as hell, but like could like just throw it off the backboard of myself with no coaching, and like. I was just on JV, just, like, not even playing. Like, these fools would, like, play the game, and I'd just come out at halftime and do dunks, like, just because I, like, didn't have to go to the locker room for the speech. And people would be like, the fuck is this guy? Like, <laughs> I'm like, ah, I'll be here all week. You have to dunks. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's part of the culture, though. It's like, and I always really, like, lamented this, is that, like, in the – once I started playing AAU and I met my AAU coach who, like, coached in the inner city and shit, he's like, as soon as you realized you were lanky, you would have been the starting something on our team. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, in in that community, in that situation, like, there was no, like, 
they're not pushing people to be their best. They're just saying like they just see what you aren't and they give up on you right away. And and I think that just I mean, the reason why I bring that up is I, I feel like it happens to black people kind of a lot. Like you don't speak exactly the same, you don't think exactly the same. Like for me I did speak and think the same, so you know, but the thing is I didn't I didn't look the same, I didn't like play the same, you know what I mean? Like even I played volleyball. Even volleyball, they used to like, cause I used to like sag my shorts and shit. Like, they were hella short. I'm like, I'm not wearing fucking shorts up to my balls. Like, you know, what I mean, like, and like people, people would be like, oh, he's not allowed to play in this tournament. He's wearing his shorts weird. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? Like, I'm the best player here. Like, you could suck a dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, your kid's not as good as me. <laughs> it's fine, but, but that's what you get in San Diego. Is you get a lot of like rich racism. It's not necessarily racism. Discrimination. On some level there is, but it's like discrimination. Yeah, it's like it's like it's more prejudice. Like we expect this of you. There's a difference. Prejudice is like what you you act like what you expect somebody to be. I look at you, I expect you to be a thief. Racism is like I don't care what you are. I fucking hate you. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're a saint or not. Like you're supposed to be lower than me. Mm -hmm. And there's institutionalized forms of both, but where I grew up, it was definitely a lot well, of prejudice. Well, 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 fuck both of them, then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck prejudice and racism, yeah. honestly. But we can't pretend that we're not all prejudiced. Not too many people are racist. There's definitely enough, but we're all prejudiced. In our own. We all see something, and like, we use our experience to judge what that is. Hopefully, the best yeah, of yeah, us yeah, just yeah. like think further and like be normal about it and not like hold someone to that forever. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Also, if you're watching this podcast, you might want to have a dictionary on hand. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say a lot of words, you might want to look up. So better yet, an iPhone, because you can talk and just repeat the word iPhone. That'd be better. Team Android. <laughs> or Android, you know. Okay, okay good. No right, discrimination right, 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 over here. Got that in. <laughs> no, so, uh, you, know, you went to Iowa State, though. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah, how was that, man? Um, by snow bunnies <laughs> <laughs> in literal snow, too, huh? Yeah, in literal snow, <laughs> a lot of snow, it was a lot of snow, a lot of bunnies. But it was different for me because I, I came, I went to Iowa State after I went to like a smaller school, so it was just like going to Iowa State, what, junior college. No, I went to Marquette, I, I stayed home my first year and a half, then I transferred to Iowa State after. Some after my mother died, so uh, I, w I went to Iowa State. It was just a whole different world. Like Marquette, everyone knew what was going on with everyone. But when you go to Iowa, everyone still kind of knew. But it was so many people. Freedom. Yeah, it was <laughs> definitely a lot more freedom at Iowa State. Yeah. And then basketball was a lot, a lot different too. It was a lot more yeah, fun. But, but Marquette was like. They're still in the Big East, right? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. they're in the Big East. I played for what the fuck did I, I hate this college realignment shit? Like what the? I I'm played. thinking the Big Ten this whole time. They were in the Big East when you were there. <laughs> yeah. Why Marquette? Marquette not Iowa yeah, State. I know Marquette. Yeah. Iowa State's in the Big Twelve, hopefully yeah. still, and not in like the goddamn yeah. SEC or some dumb shit. Why are we moving teams <laughs> a million miles away from where they are? It makes no goddamn sense. Sorry, I, Marquette's in the goddamn Big East. <laughs> but you want to know right. something crazy? Yeah, fine. Whatever, yeah. So. Every year of college, I had a different coach. I never had the same coach. I'd actually prefer that to what I had. That's... <laughs> I had I had Buzz Williams my first year. Second year Wojciechowski. Third year, uh, third year Hoiberg. What they, yeah, what, what they fourth was... year prone. You had uh, wait, which Hoiberg? Are these all like brothers of people famous? Like are... Hoiberg and he he's the bull head coach. Okay, so you have Fred Hoiberg yeah. as your coach at Iowa State, your third Hoiberg, year. Hoiberg, that yeah. sounds familiar. He's the coach of the Bulls right the now. Bulls. But he was also in the league for a long ass time. He played for the Bulls, I believe, too. I don't Did know who he, he played for, for but I feel like he was on Indiana. I don't know these I don't know these things. He played for a couple teams. He played. He was in the he was like one of those guys like <laughs> Della Vadova. Like twenty years from now, people will be like, Well he was on the cast for a little bit, he was in the I don't know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of those he was like he was like the Della Vadova of his time. But so that, to think, no offense, Hoyberg, if you find this somehow. Listen, Iowa don't. State loves Hoyberg though. He's 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 the mayor of Iowa. In, in Iowa State community. They love him as when he was a coach? 
No, like now, like now, later, tomorrow, yesterday. What did he do? What did he do? Was he miraculous? He played for Iowa State, coached for Iowa okay, State. Okay, he, co- he played for Iowa State. Okay, I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Okay, okay, yeah. And he was from Iowa. If, so don't what, quote um, me on that. So, so what? What what lessons did you pick up from um, Iowa State and Marquette? Like life lessons that that life lessons that you, that you still apply to this day. The biggest life lesson was when my mother was my mother passed. I still did well in school, so he taught me how to like how to be persistent. Like I didn't quit. I, I wanted to quit, but I didn't quit. I I kept fighting through. So it it taught me how to how to fight through. Like really, because that's that's the hardest thing. Like when people are going through things. They tend to just stop and break down, right, and you, right. that's the worst thing to do. Whether you're doing good or bad, you stay fighting because at the end of the day, you're going to come out a better person at least. Mm, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's the uh, that's that's the only that's the only way you fail. You know what I'm saying if you if you give up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. But on a lighter note, yeah, yeah homie was, keeps it real. I'm starting yeah. to think about like the tough shit in my life. Like, God, I made it. <laughs> I'm still standing. I'm still strong. <laughs> the funny part, you hear him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, he, like, he's sitting there like, like, like Oprah judging us for like, tryouts or something. Like, like I don't got the best story. He, he was either, mm, it was either, it was either, mm-hmm, or preach, <laughs> or or amen. <laughs> <laughs> But no, better, yo, man, that's what's up, man. There's no testimony without the test. You know what I'm saying? The setback is only for the setup. You know what I'm saying? Hell mm. yeah. You know what I mean? The setup to get picked up. Set up to get. Setback to get set up to get picked. Up. Like, what's the? I, I don't. I'm not part of this rhyme. Please send to, news. To, <laughs> to get send picked news. up. <laughs> the uh, rhyme still. Please send it news. It rhymes. Com. <laughs> Please send news, man. So right, man. Eight years in the fucking KBL, man. Like, what? What has? What have? How? What have you learned from this situation, man? In the South, in South Korea, eight years here, man. This is the fucking most oppressive. Like, yo, <laughs> yo. you just mad because you in last right now. No, this, no. This disclaimer, disclaimer. These are all his feelings. Yeah, he's in last. I don't feel this way. Yes, yes, yes. I don't feel this way. I'll say, I'll say, I'll, I'll say it seven days a week and this, twice on Wednesday. This is on the behalf of Windu, not us. <laughs> seven days a week, twice on Wednesday. This, 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 this country is oppressive. <laughs> Uh, it's because think about it, it's mandatory that everybody go to the military. All men go to the military. It's mandatory. That's true, but there's a lot of countries like that. No, In fact, the U.S. is one of the few countries that doesn't have a mandatory service time. We like, used to though. We yeah. had drafts. We didn't have. I mean, but, maybe like, at but, some point but, we had. But, a, I don't know the man, whole history yo, of the United fuck States. Fuck all that shit. Y'all can be politically correct. <laughs> y'all can be politically correct all y'all want to. Yo, it's tough here. It's tough here. I'll a lot say of this. Yo, I'll you say can this. be the most talented. Mo- Yo, the like thing about the most thing about well, how the f- how the fuck isn't Devon Jefferson here? Okay. I'll say uh, you want me to, you want me to keep a one hundred. You can yo no. I'm, what I'm saying is you, like you can be the most talented you, player in the world. But do you world, want me to keep you one hundred or not? You gotta be a strong minded. Do you want you me gotta, to keep you one hundred or not? All right, if you let me fucking finish, you let me get you. <laughs> you know answer the question. Yo, no, no. <laughs> you already asked the question. No, like, but no, nah, but like, you listen, gotta be, you gotta, listen, Linda, you gotta listen. be a strong minded motherfucker, a strong will motherfucker. Like, you gotta, like, as a man, you gotta guard your emotions so you can protect your money. Like, you. You gotta be, you gotta be equipped to deal with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, how the fuck did you get through eight years of this shit? Okay, all right. But before Answer we get my question, first, my first partner. of all, first of all, my answer is super easy. I just fucking listen. I'm, I'm being honest here when I say this. Like, the better question about Davon Jefferson isn't why did he get cut from Korea. It's why is he not in the goddamn league? You know, I mean, here's the thing. In in certain leagues, all I when I was in the D League, they used to say all the time, like overseas ain't for everybody. Right. And I used to really take that to heart and mean like to mean like, like what what or at least think about what does that mean? Like everybody wants money. Everybody that I was in the D League with wanted money. It was the guys who came back who were like, every overseas, overseas ain't for everybody. They weren't talking about Korea specifically. They're talking about a Everywhere. bunch of countries because anywhere where there's 
a cultural difference, especially for American people and even double for American black people because we have a lot of pride in how we are culturally as well. Yeah. We really do. There's there's going to be a conflict. Now, it's the people who can give up part of who they used to be mm. that end up lasting the longest. One thing I noticed right away about the difference between when I was in the D-League versus when I went to France is the first place I went overseas. Almost everyone on my D-League team was an asshole to somebody else on my D-League team. Not everybody was an asshole to each other all the time, but one guy had a beef with somebody else at all times. Everybody was you know, trying to... It's a, it's a weird situation being in the D-League, too, because everyone's trying to make it somewhere, but they're trying to play as a team. It's awkward. When I went to, when I went to France... Everyone still needs their playing time, but everybody was so fucking cool with one another. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with us being a good team or a bad team. It had to do with most of the guys who had been there were way older. And I realized that guys who lasted, even you right now, even if Deontay wants to play years and years, Aaron's the longest other guy been in this league. It's not how they act towards, like, during the game, Aaron should get teased. I get teased. You get teased. Like, we last because we know how to temper ourselves to you've grown a lot since you've been here. You have to admit. And it's allowed you to stay here. Yeah. Aaron is Aaron is someone who really understands that growing as a person in terms of each country you go to helps you to last in that country. That's why he's been here a long time too. I don't think I've done anything special. I just really took that to heart when they said every overseas ain't for everybody. And I personally believe that there are guys who left here. Now, granted, this place is shitty. In a lot of ways. Guys come and get cut for no reason. They are great players. Uh, all the talent in the world. I'm not saying that that's not wrong. But when I'm saying what it takes for guys. When you when you score buckets the right way the first day. And make the right friends and whatever. After that like. Good friend of yours. Troy Gillenwater. Yeah, have you ever. Have you ever yeah. I know he's a good friend of yours. Yeah. Troy Gillenwater is a great player. He can really play the game of basketball. I'm serious. He was like. He's kind of like if you were forced to be like a big man and you grew up a little bit, like that you were like two inches taller. You know, he he really just has a good feel for spacing and finishing. He can no, shoot. No, he can he do. Can, he can like, it's, it, he can score from anywhere on the floor. Like it's right. a lay, like but, it's a layup. But I'm saying that for why I bring up Deontay is because I feel like Deontay can with score high, from anywhere height, also. With but height and with strength, what, at ease. What I'm saying is that what I'm no saying comparison. is forgetting what you think he is. Yeah. He is a great player. I didn't. Yeah. That's all I said. Okay. Okay. But what the reason he's not here and you still are is you learn how to temper a bit of you a bit more than he did. It's just the truth. And I don't mean that as a disrespect to him yeah. or even like a compliment to you, but it's just what happened. And unfortunately, if I were giving advice to any kid, anybody who's trying to play overseas, if when you get challenged, it's going to happen. Someone's going to say something directly to your goddamn soul that's going to make you pissed off in the most extreme way, no matter what country you play in. If you can be like, and move on from that, you will last. It happened to you me. You will last. Trust me, it will happen. It it's happened with me. this guy. I've seen it. And I've seen him like, and he had that moment where he could have gone like full Hulk and he went back to Bruce Banner. I've seen it. And you know you did it. And you know you have that ability to go either way, and you yeah. chose. You made a choice. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Are, am I telling a lie here? Am <laughs> hey, I telling a goddamn hey, lie? No, no, you're not. You're not. You're telling the absolute truth. It's you know the what? people who you can't know, do that. They, you know they end up out. You know what? It is. You know what? Like, I'm gonna keep it funky. You know what it is for me? You know huh. The money. <laughs> like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like I feel like, I feel like I got ta- I have talent, and and. And I like, and I have to guard my talent by, by staying in control of my emotions. You know what I'm saying? Because my talent is what's paying me. You know what I'm Absolutely. Saying? And yeah. but that's here's the thing. That's how you rationalize so, it. I gotta get paid. <laughs> it, it, I need my bag. I've been here so long. <laughs> if there were more people who thought like that, the league wouldn't really even turn over that much. The same guys would still be here. Right. Troy would definitely still be here. He's a great player. Right. Like I said. Right. Davon Jefferson is a great player. I mean, if he chose to be here, he could also choose to be on the goddamn Clippers. But he he chooses to give in to his emotions sometimes. 
Yeah. It's not a knock on him. It's hard. It's yeah. hard to sit here and have someone tell you you're a fucking wrong piece of shit all the time. Right. <laughs> and come out the other side. But if you want to last, you have to do it. That's overseas. We don't have the same cultures. People don't get us. We don't get them. Yeah, nah. Fuck that. You're not like fuck, <laughs> yo, yo, fuck that. Like you ain't getting my emotions. Like, like that's what, yo. I mean, that's why that's what I appreciate about women. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know what Interesting saying? pivot. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. They Four, can three, get, sixty. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Four, three, sixty. No, but I'm gonna bring it around. And I'm a one eighty eight again. Like that's what I love about he, women. Okay, I don't even know who's joking and who isn't at this no, point. No, I'm dead ass though. That's <laughs> no. If y'all. No, I know, okay. like, he said Stop! <laughs> no, no, because that's what I love about women. Like, yo, I give like women, my woman, my emotions. You know what I'm saying? I give, I give like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, yo, babe, this shit's fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, like, we in last place. Like, god damn, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then I go to go, I go to practice. Hi, everybody. La 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 la. la. I ain't gonna say, oh, hey, hey, good day, good day, good day. <laughs> yo. You know what I'm saying? But but I come back home on Facetime, like, babe, I'm in the last place. It's just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that's when uh, a good woman, that's that's that'll get you through too. That, I mean, that's what works for you, and I'm not like. There's no knock. All I'm saying is, you, it's you the did truth. It. You did it. That's, yeah. No, the truth is, you're still here. Yeah. You're three years in, when you first got here, I remember it was, it was, it was. You were doing well, but you were angered by the coach. Sometimes I was broke as fuck. Yeah, but you. That's what I'm saying. You valued that more. That some guys don't value that the same. Some guys still curse out I, teammates. I need my stuff. bag. Yeah, get your bag. That's why you're getting it. All right, this shit is called porn ain't boring. Not like home ain't the zone or whatever. We, <laughs> <laughs> we not at home, brother. We out here getting that money. <laughs> home ain't the zone. Uh, half check will travel. Shit. <laughs> will work for Hoops, the podcast. It tell us about your experience. <laughs> What were your stats last year? Huh? Yeah, um, uh, the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but yo, this is your first year out here. How you like? Like, hi, hi. What, like, what have you? Yo, yo, you remember like when I um, I'm, I'm I met you before the season started. Huh? Like that's that shit was cool, man. Yeah. Like, I, like, uh, like I, 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 I knew like you. Were, Cause I meant, man, you ninety like let's keep it funky. You nineties kids are a little off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not say you nineties kids. Let's say, let's say a later generation. 90s. Yeah, oh, <laughs> and then later generation. You're ninety four. That's early nineties. Yeah, 90s. yeah I'm saying man, later like, generation. Not, man, okay, okay. Oh, okay. All right, all right, no, but but this could be a compliment to you. Close like two thousand. No, this could be a compliment to you. Like, you know what I'm saying most of you nineties kids are a little. <laughs> I don't like you guys. Off. Yeah, I don't like you guys. Like, but but you cool, man. I got a good vibe from you, man. You know what I'm saying, and like, and for you to for you to clown this league, you know what I'm saying, for you to like, man, I, like I love seeing that shit. It makes it makes me happy, man. Like no bullshit, like, especially in on Dung Boo, man. Like like yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Cause, like even though I'm on, I feel a I feel a part of it. You know what I'm saying, because whenever I play you guys, it, it's just a big fucking hug fest. You don't feel no like. No, uh, like, because when he came, they were like, oh, like, you're like the new Wendell. Because you guys are like the same size. And like, I was like, man, I was like, I was looking at his arms. I was like, is Wendell's yeah, arms really that first, size? I, first I was like, this him, is so he weird. Like, he like, I thought you were a Wendell. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, no. Like, you don't really look at it. But if you walk into the gym from a distance, you know, I got there late. I walk in and I see him with his jersey. And I was like, did Wendell change to number 15? Like, what the, uh, who the fuck shit. is this dude? Like. No, well, hold same, on. So, what was your question? Like, no, I'm saying like, like, no, like, uh, is there any part of you that's like a little bit? I don't know. I don't know what word to insert there, but something where you like see, you were on this team last year. Mm -hmm. New guy comes in, and now he's like, not just killing, but the team is doing well and stuff. Does it ever yeah. make you be like, oh, I could have done that too if I had the right coaching, or is it like, oh man, that's like, no, I'm I'm better than that, or like, no, oh, he's just killing it. That's just him. It's different. Like, any any emotions on that level? Pretty much, or do you compare? Is do you compare? Do you like exactly. contrast? Okay, okay. Do you... uh, I feel like me being in the last place, I'm in no position to compare myself to anybody. But not, but uh, but like I like when the season I, started. I, at least when the season started, and you like knew who we had. Like first game of the season, you like you know we played a couple oh, of you games. Know, You've I seen was it. just like you know what I mean. Okay, like I'm a, like I'm gonna show y'all. Like you know what I mean. I'm still nice, but like I, I don't know. Like because like. 
Cause, cause this is my third year here. Maybe when I was younger, I would have compared. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, but uh, but it's my third year here, and I'm, I'm just like, okay, I'm like, like I'm in the, I'm in a different situation now, and um, like I mean, I see Dungbu, like I wish, I wish the best for y'all. You know what I'm saying, hmm. cause, cause like remember, mind you, I played two seasons. Like uh, so, I was there, brother. Yeah, I was yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah, so I was so, so hmm. like I'm not watching you guys game, wishing that you lose. You know what right. I'm saying, like right. You know what I'm saying? I like Chu Sun. Like he gave like Chu Sun. Like, like my my second day in practice. Like he gave me a pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ho Young, Ho Young. Like I <laughs> I seen him like get hurt and like you know what I mean? He was yeah. Do and you know what I mean? Mm, and, you know what I'm saying? Like like so and you know you know what I'm saying? So like like I I, I wish the best for Dung Boo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah so, yeah yeah. So like I don't, like I don't think I like. Come comparing me. I feel to, you play a little saying? better too against us. The first game, especially, I don't think you missed yeah, a goddamn right. shot. I was hella salty. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I admit it, I was salty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, no, nah, nah, I was in the scout room like, no, oh, no, I know no. Wendell. He gonna miss this shot, and you made everyone. I was like, oh, I look fucking. Oh no, no. Stupid. When I play against you, I yeah, I'm trying. To, of course, I'm trying to show you, like, yeah, I'm still nice. You know what I'm saying? That's just <laughs> that's just from a competitive. Well, that's standpoint. what I mean from a competitive. Oh standpoint. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. From from a not from a being a fucking weirdo standpoint. Yeah, whatever yeah, whatever yeah. standpoint you just for. That's not what I meant. Yeah, no, no, from, <laughs> no. Like you play extra good. Like yeah, from a competitive standpoint, it's my former. It's my former team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I'm in Wanju, I'm seeing places like, oh damn, I used to go there. That's where I got my squares from. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, like I wanna, I wanna clown. You know what I'm yeah. saying, but that's just because I mean, that's just the the whole energy behind it. But I, outside of everything, man, like, like I'm happy to see y'all in first place. Like, no bullshit. That is the sign of an older player a little bit too, where you just like, I think younger players really are like. They feel like they have so much to prove. Yeah, yeah. And once you prove something, you don't really feel like feel like you have to prove it again. I think it's really interesting. Like that's why I always really respect like LeBron and Jordan, those guys, Kobe's, because they can like win five, six years in a row. You know, over where it's like they have nothing to prove and they still like attack it the same every year. That's some, you don't see that from a lot of people because in part it's a good thing to not like over care about what someone else is doing, but another thing is it can take away your drive a little bit as well. See, but I also think they're. They're aiming for different things. Yeah, because like, they like, can, they competing like, with each other. That's yeah, they, true. Like because Co- Co- like, like, the best of the best. Yeah, LeBron is competing with Wilt Chamberlain. Like, you know what I mean? That's with, true. With Michael that, Jordan. Even that's, though that's kind of not fair. It's like how how can I compete against somebody who is who is not competing? But you don't think that there are guys like, who who win and then they it's not like they stop competing, but they don't have that extra bit to continue to compete at that similar or better level year after year. Yes, yeah, because I think there yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. That's what, I'm not saying complacent, but to like, for example, in the fourth quarter, you take it to another level. You compete all game, but in the fourth quarter, it's like something clicks that just goes like <laughs> nuclear. It's weird. I think that like there's a the... there's a com- there's a competitive thing that like some people can't measure where they can just, and I think that like those guys when you're talking about the best of the best, they have that. When you look at guys who were like really good who won chips, hmm. like it may sound controversial. I think Shaq is one of the best players of all time. I don't feel like he had that that bit. He that was just extra. so good that he could win yeah. year after year. Yo, you want to know my but Kobe did have that bit. And I don't even like Kobe that much, but he had it. Yeah. Where it's like every year he's bringing the maximum intensity. I yeah. didn't like Kobe until I went overseas. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, my opinion on Shaq. Him, my opinion like on Shaq is all right. All right, Shaq is Shaq is like in high school. He's the number one whiz kid. Number one whiz kid, right? He goes to college. He's like, I'm the number one whiz kid. I can get an A plus, but oh my god, I'm, hmm, I'm, I'm a party a lot, and I'm gonna just get a B. That's that's what Shaq was, man. Shaq, like a, a movie about Shaq should probably be off the court. Yeah, I mean, because remind you, he put out albums. Shaq went platinum, but that's that's. I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Sh- Shaq was what? really, really focused until the day he just wasn't. But he kept winning after that. Like, I think about who was his co- fucking competition? Like, oh fuck, yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying. You know when you have no competition <laughs> to be able to do it again, no, David nobody Robinson, was or... fucking with Shaq. I remember I watched one game. That, I mean, this isn't like the greatest example, but it, it's just so funny. I just remember this so clearly. I forget who he was on, but they were playing the Warriors. This is like maybe he was on Phoenix. Or Eric like, Dampier. 
No, 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 no. He was on yeah, Phoenix or maybe but, Cleveland or something. No, it was some white dude from Notre Dame who was like playing the big for Golden State. Not Troy Murphy. Someone else. I don't even remember his name. 6'9", 220. And they just throw him in to play against Shaq because they're like, oh, someone's got a foul. He lied to me. I just remember seeing the, like the, the physical mismatch. And then like they're like, oh, just throw it down to Shaq. And like the guy tried to foul him and Shaq just spun through and like dunked and the dude fell over. And I was like, I've never seen anything more unfair looking. Like even if you put that same guy in against like, you know, who's a great player like Kevin Durant or something, like it might look unfair in terms of like speed or like Kevin Durant will make like a step back three on him or something. Like, I don't know. The way Shaq made this dude look like he shouldn't even deserve to have a jersey. <laughs> I've never felt so like I felt em- embarrassed for him. Like Shaq, I, I like hit my own face. I was like, oh Jesus. Shaq belittled you oh, when he played. He belittled me. He dunked on you, pushed you down. He like he, he could be- do that whenever he wanted. He just chose not to. Oh yeah. He chose not to. That's what I mean. That's the that's, that's extra bit that some guys have. We know the best guys because they keep doing Yo, it. Can but we pop this up in my God damn. Why are you trying to do this to me, dog? You know, I already. I don't even know what he's got over there. What color is that? It's impure. For sure. Okay, go, go, go. go. Pepsi's popping. I mean, Coca Cola's popping. Buy Coke. Look. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Like, I want to. I want On this podcast, I want to apologize to Ricardo Ratliff, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like. I really appreciate it. Like, he was finna slide through. He was here, man. Like, man. Ricardo, man, I apologize, man. I apologize. Man man to man. Man to man. Like, like next time I see you, I'm going to look you in your eyes and apologize, man. Because I really appreciate you for, for coming, man. Like, like, man, I'm just Wendell. Just, just Wendell stuff be happening, man. When you meet my father, you'll understand what Wendell stuff is. You understand Wendell Jr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I'm Wendell, cause I'm a junior. So, yeah, man. I apologize, Ricardo. Man, shout outs, big shout out to the Rattler family, family, and um, they'll be on the podcast real soon, man. I actually want to meet Ricardo, cause it's it's different. You never met him off get, the. It's hey, different that's plan to both get somebody. Of y'all were the same. Him. I told him the same as I told. It told him the same as I told you. Cause I realized y'all both it, played against him. I was like, Ricardo's gonna talk a lot of shit. Don't yeah. get involved in it. And neither of y'all can help it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what he says to y'all. Like the first time I, I I actually saw Ricardo, we played against Mobus. I was on LG and I was on a bad team, but we were still decent. But we lost by like thirty at their place. And I was on the bench because it's the middle of a blowout, so I'm on the bench for like ten minutes. And everyone knew like the salute was my thing. Ricardo did something good while I was on the bench. Then he ran right up to me and like saluted in my face. And I was just like. Yeah, good for you, young buck. Like, I laughed it off, but I guess I was like, it wasn't a difference for you. You're older than him. I'm not older than him. Yeah, maybe it's like, but I told you, I was like, I was like, Ricardo's gonna talk shit. It's like you're like, nah, it doesn't bother me. See, (laughs) see, you can, you can, you can sun him. I can't. Like that's like that's the difference. I can't sun him. Like I can't sun anyone in the KBL because I'm one of the youngest people here. But what made you think before that you could like when y'all's like he's gonna talk shit, he's gonna try it. He doesn't you know, try like, to get in your head. It's just what he does. He's going to say that you're the, like, it's he's going to say everything to you. It's not him. It's just like, it's like, because the coach, okay, I can't play, I can't play with emotion that I want to play with because K- Koreans don't understand how I process playing with okay. my emotions. Okay. So it's like when I get emotional, the Koreans always calm down, calm down, which <laughs> makes me, which, which makes me like a... <laughs> when they say that, it makes you a different type of angry. Like that, like that makes you a different type of come angry. Down, come down, come yeah, down, like, like, come down. Like I'm calm. Maybe it's like when he got calm at times, like nothing would happen. Like when calm down, he's like, I'm at McDonald's, motherfucker. I'm, good. I'm not even on the court. I'm good. Like so, it them telling you to calm down makes you a different type of mad, which. It may not even be Ricardo that's messing you up. It can be like your teammates telling you, "Calm down." No, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get amped up so I can play against him because he 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 does play aggressive and the best way to like hold out when he's backing you down is is to be mad. Like you feel stronger, 
when he hits you, it doesn't hurt as much. So it's just, <laughs> it's, it's different. Like, because when people hit it's you, funny, it's not, up, it, it hurts. hurts. Like, yeah, <laughs> yes, it, that, it hurts. Like, when somebody hits you in the chest with a shoulder, it hurts. But if you're mad, you don't necessarily feel Probably that. don't be hurting shit over here, Cook. That's all I'm saying. You 16. <laughs> I'm 6'4". But y'all, but y'all weigh the same. Y'all all weigh the same as Ricardo. Everybody. Ricardo is 6'4". He's got like a weird neck. Listen. He Ricardo's seems like 6'6". Ricardo's taller six. than me. He's, Ricca- ta- he's Ricardo definitely not that taller tall. than me. He's not that tall. Uh, Ricardo, he's not that tall. Than me. I'm, six, I'm the six, only six, hater six, here. I'm legit 6'4". <laughs> <six, four. laughs> I don't like, know how tall. He's 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 legit 6'6". Six, six. And a half. I'm legit six six but, three but and three a, quarters. But I'm saying y'all weigh the same. You should be able to, you know what I mean? Listen, Both of y'all, listen. You know where I mean? look at look at listen. look at his goddamn arms. Listen, where his goddamn. shoulder hit me is different where it, where it hits you. It's just, like, it hits me here. Like I just hits me. Like, that's, that's it hits me. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> like, you really got a brace for it. But like I feel like he, I realized he was a different person. Like he he was just doing that. At the end of the game that we lost. Fuck, man. I feel, man, damn, man. I feel bad now, man. Like, I wish you, damn, man. I wish Ricardo was here so he could defend himself against my bullshit accusations. Nah, I would, yeah, man. I had to get my fucking haircut. No, because I, I fucking, I text him. I text him. I was like, yo, I'm on my, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I tried to extend it, you know what I'm saying? But he was already on his way, and I was on my way here, too, but. Oh, man. Just window things, man. It was Wendell window things. stuff. Window stuff. Man. Wendell, Wendell Stott. Oh, okay. I thought it was. It was a Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a Wednesday. Man, I really, I really, man, shout out to Ricardo. Man. Really shout dropped the ball Ricardo, on that one. Man. Shout out to Ricardo, man. Shout out to Ricardo. Can't wait to, like, I mean, if we, we ever out, like, I'm going to buy a bottle and personally hand it to him. Damn, it's like, it's like that, huh? Yeah, like, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Shout out to Ricardo, man. Shout out to Ricardo, man. <sighs> so, what's up, man? God damn, man. Please send nudes. <laughs> Dot com. If you ask politely, it should be, it should be fine. <laughs> it should be fine. You should receive one or two. <laughs> Hold up. Is that a gray, gray hair over there? Well, I got plenty of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm mid-30s now, right? It's like, not. <laughs> oh, so yo, this is really your last year? I'm young. Yeah, it's my last year, bro. <clears throat> I mean, I don't like... It's weird saying, because I always feel like people say that, and then it's not true. So I'm like, I try not to like promote it too much, but yeah, I have every intention of this being my last year, and we'll operate accordingly. Is That just means his body's telling him to stop, everyone. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> my body's telling me yes. No, I just, I just don't... I, just, I, just, I honestly don't care like I used to. Ever since I left Mobis... In like the worst fucking basketball experience of all time, I don't care like I used to. Like it really took my joy. That kind of reminds well, not them taking the joy, but you saying that kind of reminds me of what Kobe said. Like he wasn't obsessed with the game anymore. Mm-hmm. But I, I guess like for me, I was never like a Kobe type guy. Me you know, neither I, until I came here. But <laughs> but on some level, I did really enjoy, especially like because everyone. Most players I've always pl- ever played against, they don't like playing against me. I, I mean, that's just the truth of the matter, like, no matter what age I've been. Uh, and so, like, I've always taken joy in, like, being better than them just to spite them. <laughs> but then when I, when I like, won the chip twice, and then I went back to Mobus, and there was, like, they just stole my joy. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really care who, like, this season, in last, when we played, like, you saw last year at the end of the year, like, dieted more like got ready for the playoffs etc yeah you know you know and i'm doing the same this year but in in those terms like as soon as shit went bad i was like god damn it like you remember i was like uh yeah ho young's injured ho young's injured like season's season's over yeah yeah, like someone else talks shit to me i'm like ah whatever like uh good for him like let him oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you know what i mean like in i used to like take that shit like not personally to where i would like but like yeah, I would get that extra level too. Like, all right, brother, let's fucking let's go then. Yeah. And I, maybe I still do it some level, but it's not the same. Okay, it's not okay, the same. Okay, okay. I, no, <clears throat> I get, I get that because like when my coach, my college coach, said something to me that always stuck with me. He said, in order to like, it takes more than basketball to make it in basketball. So a lot of what you're saying, like, 
like you talking about on the court, but like like you must got a lot, a lot of stuff going on off the court to make you feel like you know what I mean to make basketball not the same anymore. Like who you are, like when you step off the court. I mean that's that's true, but I guess because honestly, like I'm getting older, like you know what I mean, like oh shit, like I'll be thirty this year. You know what I'm saying? So like honestly, I don't know, like. It's like putting on my putting on my shorts, putting on my jersey, putting on my shoes. Like the feeling ain't the same as mm. it was when I was fifteen. That's true. I guess you know we we talked about this last year. Yeah. I think there's like a a bit of uh, you know, I've had these things off the court for a while, and you're developing them for yourself now too. Like I mean, you have other things be- besides just this that you've been working on. I'm for- popping. Okay. He's he's popping. You got damn right. But the the fact of the matter is is that yeah, if you did want to make a decision, at least five five revenue streams. Okay, okay. go go go. If ahead. you did want to make a decision, it's not I always said this. I don't want to be the dude who's playing because he has to. Right. Right, right, right. So, because I do feel like Plan people who retire right. on their own terms yeah. do much better than people who the game retires. Are not broke. Well, yeah, I mean, if the game retires you, that means you weren't really ready for it. You thought you had another year. You thought you, your knee was all right. You thought this and that. I am looking at it like, no, I'm, you know, making sure I got all my ducks in a row, seeing, make sure I got my investments the way I want them to be, the, you know, the, the off the court, you know, uh, uh, job possibilities are in order, like everything in order to where I still like basketball, like, I get the same joy dunking on someone at the LA Fitness than I do like running up and down and goddamn practice here. Like there's not <laughs> there's not some extra satisfaction except for like I still do get joy from dudes who are like, oh, you going to Benson sucks, and then our team wins. I'm like, well, you, you just don't get it, bro. You yeah. don't get what's happening. It's there's more to basketball than scoring thirty points. Damn shit! I just scored forty two like a month uh, like a week ago and still lost. I don't, I don't think I've ever is. scored 42 points in a, a real game. Yeah. Summer league doesn't count. It's, a, it's a Not summer league. Korea it's high a, is like 41. Mine is 42. I don't think I ever that was when that. the league, when the lane was open, man, I was perfect. Cause I, I learned in D league where you just it's sweep a, and get to the middle and get it's fouls. A, it's a, I don't, over, it's I don't think I ever scored 41 points. It's experience, man. That's not I, the I type still of. Loss. What's an overrated experience? Scoring, you mean? 42. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but for some people, like like we were talking earlier a bit, like it depends on what your identity is. Huh. And like I said, being overseas for a long time usually changes people's identities. But that's the thing. If you're on a bad team where you're just scoring 40 points every day, your identity doesn't really change. You just lose and then you think like, oh, like, you know, that country was one year. But if you like can change yourself a bit. To, and that's, so for some people, that does mean more scoring, like. David Simon, when I first got here, never shot threes. Now he's expanded his game. He's shooting threes. He's doing stuff that, you know, he never did before. He's getting less technicals. He's arguing less. Like, it's made him into, like, a player that really helps that team compete for a championship. That's growing. Like, for everybody, it's different. But if you think you're going to, like, just go overseas and, like, score 50 and that's going to, like, get your family paid for, like, a career, that's not how it works. I can attest to that. I, I never averaged more than 19 in this league. And that year, there was only one American. So I played the whole game. And that year, I was the MVP. So what's really important? Winning. Winning. When, when. Did you say winning on purpose? Because if you did, that's brilliant. Yeah. Pun, pun, <laughs> well, pun intended. <laughs> pun intended. Pun intended. What's brilliant. But winning. Yeah, winning. Yeah, hell yeah, and like you know what I'm saying, winning gets winning gets everybody paid. You know what but I'm that sacrifice Wednesday, you know that. Yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, you can grab it with your fucking hands, man. Oh, I purposely, I was. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I just knew it was gonna break. Yeah. God damn, man! Like, yo, man! Like, you know, no, some real shit, man. I, I really, really, really appreciate y'all coming, man. Like, no bullshit. Like, I really appreciate y'all coming, man. Like, it was. It was dope. It was really, really dope as fuck, man. I got the like no 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 disrespect, but I got the past and I got the future. You know what I'm saying? Um you know what I'm saying and like I just I know I'm just, like a throwback Thursday everywhere I go. Yeah. Like.
Yeah, and I just feel, <laughs> and, I, and I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like a future Friday. Yeah, I was like, is there a future Friday? I was thinking that too. <laughs> Is there a future version? I don't know. But no, man, like this, no, no, but like this shit is this shit makes man like like you know what I'm saying? Hot, like my mom, like you know what I'm saying? Like like I slid through with a podcast. Like it, this is out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't you know what I'm saying? This ain't like a well known. Like this is like, yo, I'm doing a podcast, you wanna slide through? And you know what I mean? Motherfuckers are really sliding through, man. So like I really, really appreciate that shit, you know what I'm saying? And like it, it humbles me, you know what I'm saying? And I and I like I, I really appreciate it, like from the bottom of my heart, man. Well, like, if I can say something on your behalf, you don't just have a podcast and people aren't just sliding through. Like you are putting in the effort to make your podcast work. Even if it's late or this or that, like people make mistakes in all sorts of ways when they try something new, but you are actively reaching out to people, you providing them food and drink and you got all the equipment and you you hired people, like it's not a goddamn accident. It's not just some sort of like, oh, I looked up on a podcast, so I just tried it out. Like, no, you put in the research and you're you're going after it the right way. So don't don't sell yourself short. Mm-hmm. You 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 earned what you're doing, and so just keep earning it. Right. Show people that the work matters. Is my point. Right, it's right. not some shit you just p- pick up with anything in life. Right, right. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you for coming, man. Like, no bro. bullshit, man. Yeah, man. Yo, are we out tonight, man? Like, y'all start drinking before me, man. So. I'm going to let you know now. I don't have an ID. <laughs> y'all can share IDs, man. You're the same goddamn size. Yo, I got a, I got a, I got a Korean ID and I got a, a, a American ID. Man. Yeah, we got two Wendells tonight. <laughs> the bro. only thing I'm missing is this, the tats. <laughs> Tattoo on the neck. Nah, which one you want? Which yeah, one does he you? have that Oh, yeah, yeah. Does. Which one you want, man? You want one? Which one you want to use? You should probably use the younger this one. Which one looks more like T Grizzly? Uh, the younger not, one. He said the younger one. <laughs> All right, you're going to use that one. The one with one. no facial hair because I, I don't really have too much. Bada bing, bada boom. Because the, Korean, the Koreans, they can't read English anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's foreign ain't born and we ain't born. Slide off.